formal dinner table does not need to be intimidating. Hi, I'm Gia from Real Simple Real Life, and I'm going to show you how. Let's start with the tablecloth. I've chosen this green linen tablecloth. It's really beautiful. It adds a lot of color to your table, but don't forget to iron it. It's extremely important. Next is the charger. I have a green charger that looks so beautiful with this tablecloth. But chargers come in metal, they come in wood, they come in beautiful finishes. The next item that goes on top of the charger is the dinner plate. Just like that. And then next is your salad plate. Make sure that both plates are set in the center of the charger. When serving soup, you're going to remove your salad plate and then place your soup bowl right on top of your dinner plate. Once your guests have finished their soup, you'll remove the soup bowl and then place the salad plate right on top. Once the place setting is complete, you're going to place your napkin. I've chosen this beautiful cream linen hemstitch napkin, and that's going to go right alongside the plate. On top of the napkin is the flatware, and first is the salad fork, and that goes furthest away from the place setting. Next is the dinner fork. It goes alongside the salad fork, and remember to align the forks with the bottom of the place setting. To the right of the place setting goes the knife. Make sure that the blade is facing towards the dinner plate because some people think it's impolite to have the blade facing towards your guests. And next to the knife goes your soup spoon. Again, make sure that everything is aligned perfectly with the place setting. The teaspoon for a formal place setting goes on top of the place setting. And you want to make sure that the actual spoon is facing to the left of the place setting. You're going to have your bread plate go above the napkin. And if you want to serve a butter knife to go along with this plate, you would place it horizontally on this plate. Of course, you need glasses. And stemware is a must during a formal dinner party. First is the water glass. And you want to place that above the knife. And the reason for that is you tend to reach out for your water more than anything. So this makes it just so much easier for you. And then your stemware. We have white and red. Next is the salt and pepper. And you want to place the salt and pepper in the center of the table. There are endless ideas for floral arrangements, but one of my favorites is traditional flowers. These are beautiful white hydrangeas that are clustered together in a glass vase. As you can see, this table setting is absolutely beautiful. Your friends will think you spent hours when it only took you minutes.